Hi, Marsha. Um, I hope um, what I'm about to show you is uh, in new information for you. Um, I, but I noticed when I clicked on the BA this week that there were three images that came on the screen and they, they loaded slowly. Um, so I'm going to simulate here. So if I hit the return key, um, you'll notice that, see how those images kind of scroll down slowly? For me now, I am on a network at home that's uh, Metrocast, not as not quite as as um, fast as the one on the Brewster campus. But whenever I see images load slowly like that on a web page, it makes me think that they really need to be smaller. So what I did is I downloaded those three images and found that um, you have this one right here. This is the dance video, and that is uh, let's go to. That's 3.8 megabytes. Uh, you have um, the lake video, and that is 2.4 megabytes. And then you also have this police video, or, or image, I keep saying video, um, and it's 2.1 megabytes. So maybe you already know this, but in case you don't, um, there's a, a cool way in Photoshop that you can reduce the size of these uh, images. So if I flip over to Photoshop, um, so I have this open right now, the dance vi uh, dan dance image. And um, if I go up to File and say Save for Web and Devices, and I click, first of all, it gives me a warning. It says this image exceeds exceeds the size. And you say, Wow, what's that mean? Um, well, I think there's a standard size. Um, of a of a photo that um, is recommended that you post on a web page, and in my mind, I've always tried to keep my photos between uh, 400, uh, 600 and 800 pixels wide. Um, if I click yes here, I want to. I still want to do this. Um, you'll notice it brings up this screen, and right first of all, the image size is shown here, so it's 300 or 3,456 pixels wide. So this is why it gave us that warning. The, the size of the image is, is just is large. Um, and if I go up here, there's a, a couple of different um, tabs here. If I choose two up, um, and I choose a quality setting here, uh, so for example, um, I could say maximum, very high, high, medium, or low, you'll notice that there's a difference. So this is your original photo and if I scroll up here I'm going to scroll to where I can see some of the kids. I see a little bit of detail. Okay so there's there's the detail. So right now this is the original photo on top and the optimized on the bottom. Now um, the size of the new version is shown right here. 1.2 Two three megabytes instead of three point four, I believe this one was. If I change these, uh, let's say, look, I I've never changed a photo to low, but if I change it to low, you'll notice this is only uh, three hundred and forty seven k now. But if I look closely, the image is kind of blurry, and I definitely don't want that. So, on the other end, if I pick very high you'll notice that there's no difference between these two, but yet my size, which it's, I don't know why it's showing 22.8 megabytes when it's really 3.7. It's usually, this usually works correctly. But anyway, you'll see that it's a reduced size. So I can say, I can look at this and say, well, if I choose high, now I'm down to 1.23 megabytes, and I really can't tell much of a difference between these two photos. So then I'll just choose OK. And then it wants me to save my file. And I, if I call this um, uh, dance um, small, OK. Now, the other thing that I would recommend you do is just reduce the size of this um, image. So if I go to image, image size, and I would choose Maybe if, even if you make this a thousand pixels wide instead of that one, uh, you know, over three thousand. Now I'm going to click OK. It looks small, but it's it's still showing a twenty-five percent 
So if I go um, to 100%, so that's the way it would show up on a web page at full size, 100%. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to do here, so I've reduced this, just reducing the pixel size of the image is going to help a ton. And then I'm going to go back down here to save for web and devices. And if I scroll down, I can do the same thing. I could, so this is 1.9 megabytes now that it's smaller, uh, but this is 100%, 1.9 megabytes. And it's now only 168K if I choose my high setting. If I choose very high, I'm up to 287K. And I say, that's, that's great. Uh, an image will load like a, in a snap at 287K. So I'm going to choose very high, but because I re greatly reduced the size from 3,800 pixels down to 1,000, it's making this image much, much smaller. So I'm going to choose Save Now, and I'll call this one uh, Smaller, or Dance Smaller. And then if I run out to my, just to show you, so I have my original was 3.8 megabytes. The one that I didn't make the pixels smaller, but I just chose to optimize it is 1.3 megabytes. And the one where I did both things, I made my image smaller in pixels and I optimized it, it's 295K. So anyway, um, hope this makes sense. And if you didn't know that, um, now you do.